I'm here at Fort Monroe in Hampton, once known as Point Comfort, the very spot where the first enslaved Africans arrived in America 401 years ago in 1619. The atrocities my ancestors endured, packed and stacked on slave ships like pieces of property, brought to this country to build it with their blood, sweat and tears. Psychiatrists say trauma like that can affect a people for generations. Seven-year-old Wenta Amor Rogers' passion during a recent protest in New York struck a chord across the country. The amount of passion in her voice, in her eyes for a child that young made me not just see her, it made me see our ancestors before her. So that little girl learned that from history. She learned that from her parents. And that's even like why it's so important for us to continue to tell the stories. Nationally renowned psychiatrist Dr. Dion Metzger says the unrest we see today is 401 years in the making. And in the point of slavery to the point of, you know, whippings and, and, and killing and lynchings, even, you know, in generations after that. But the issue is, is that that fear gets instilled into the children because parents are trying to protect their children. So that fearfulness, I think, is what's passed on. In addition to the trauma, just having to deal with um, the physical abuse, the sexual abuse. Hampton Roads has long been a significant location in the dark history of racism. Metzger says the outcry we're seeing today at peaceful rallies, sharing stories and fighting against injustice can be a form of healing. And it's not going to be a quick fix. Us telling our stories is one big part of it. I'm a psychiatrist, you know I'm going to say therapy. It's like at this point with all the images that we're seeing, all of the, um, the videos, it's a lot. And a lot of people think in order for you to suffer from PTSD, you have to be a victim. So you would have to have been one of those people like George Floyd or Breonna Taylor. No, you can still have the same traumatic impact just from watching the video. And sometimes it's even greater if you identify with the person. Is it possible that as Black people, we are experiencing a, a PTSD from what they went through 401 years ago? Absolutely. Absolutely. Just because we didn't experience it, us learning about the history or even from family stories, it's the same thing. And that's why for so many in the Black community, it's not only about George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey, and Breonna Taylor. It's about the trauma that began right here in Hampton 401 years ago.